This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, can anyone of you please confirm whether my voice is audible or not? Yes. One second. I'm not able to hear you guys. So. Uh, can anyone of you just uh, give me a, a voice confirmation that you're able to hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, someone raised hand. Uh, CB, uh, any questions? Okay. So, uh, in yesterday, uh, we discussed uh, about uh, the demo. Uh, the, the agenda was uh, like, what is performance testing, uh, load runner architecture, and uh, we have seen a simple or uh, a sample record and replay uh, using ViewGen component. We have we have gone through the course content and also we address some questions. So, in today's session. Uh, we'll be discussing uh, different types of performance testing. Okay. Actually, I have a slide. Uh, I have slides for uh, uh, you know explaining different types of performance testing. Uh, I will share those slides later. Uh, but for time being, uh, for today's session, I'll be going through or explaining the different types of performance testing in Notepad itself. I'll be writing some running notes. Uh, and I'll be sharing this running notes as well along with the slides. Uh, so it, as per yesterday's uh, discussion, uh, our initial understanding of performance testing is all about checking the performance of an application by applying some load. Correct? Now, continuation to that, uh, there is one, there is one point important point that you need to remember is performance testing is measured in terms of speed stability and scalability okay uh, very important so generally performance testing is measured in terms of speed stability and scalability what do you mean by speed, stability, and scalability? Uh, we will uh, see in a few minutes. Now, let's try to list, uh, list down different types of performance testing. The first type of performance testing is uh, load test. Okay? I'll list all the, uh, the types of performance testing, and then we can discuss one by one. Then you have a stress test. Then you have endurance test. You can also call it as a, you can also call it as a soak test, or you can also call it as a duration test. Okay, all three are same names. Now the next one is scalability test. Okay, the next is a volume test. Next is a failover test. Okay. So these are uh, the types of performance testing. Uh, you can also uh, uh, discuss spike testing also. So these are some of the uh, different types of performance testing. Now we'll discuss one by one. Now, uh, here, remember these three terms. Performance testing is measured in terms of speed, stability, and scalability. I will relate these terms with different types of performance testing here okay so first let's begin with well, let's begin with uh, you know with load test what is load test one second guys uh, oops uh, i did a mistake i this keyboard is having some issue one second uh, let me write it again. Even the control Z is not working. Okay. So let me write again quickly. So volume test. Then failover test. Then spike test. 
so out of these uh, uh, different types of performance testing we will discuss failover test tomorrow because uh, to understand failover test we need to understand uh, some important uh, uh, concepts like server what is a server uh, what is a web server what is application server what is database server all those things so tomorrow we'll discuss those things first and then we'll uh, understand failover test as well in now we'll try to cover and understand these uh, different types of uh, test performance tests okay now let's begin with load test okay so load test is the first major test that we do in every performance testing project see you are assigned to some project okay some performance testing project and you are asked to do uh, uh, you are asked to you are asked to uh, you know test the performance of an application now the first type of test that you execute or perform is load test it's a first major type major test so load test what exactly we uh, perform here so we check the we check the speed of the application we check the speed of the application by applying some expected load okay by expecting by applying some expected load what do you mean by checking speed of the application when you say speed of the application it's it's like how much time it is taking to load that page now let's say you click a link now when you click a link how much time it is taking to load the next page or you click a button how much time it is taking to load the next page okay so how much time so it's nothing but we are checking the speed here okay so you launch the application how much time it is taking for launch you log into the application how much time it is taking to log in you log out of the application how much time it is taking to log out of the application okay now that is a speed and here i you i told you right it is measured speed so speed is relevant to the load test here and what do you mean by by applying expected load load is nothing but okay for now load is nothing but number of users basic understanding is load is nothing but number of users so with how many users you want to check the speed of the application that's true but with how many users with with how much load that is important a single user checking the performance doesn't make sense right so first you need to get the information of how much load uh, to be tested and then uh, prepare the load test scenario accordingly and go ahead and test it now who will give you this information who will give this information to us the client will give you or the product owner will give you or the business analyst will give you this data or the application team might provide you this data how many users you you have to use for testing okay so we'll discuss that again in maybe in the next sessions regarding the number of users and all now as i said this is the first major uh test we execute irrespective of the project okay irrespective of the company that you are working for everyone will init initially start with or begin with load test only okay now for how long we run this test okay i am saying that we will be executing a load test for how long we will run this test we run this test for 1 hour okay so duration is basically 1 hour study state what do you mean by study state i'll tell you later so let's for time being just uh, just uh, think that we will we'll be running this test for 1 hour okay uh, and then when you run the load test for 1 hour what is that you are going to verify what is that we are going to verify we are going to verify response times what do you mean by response times as i said how much time it is taking to uh, uh, you know get the response see uh, in tomorrow session i'll explain you clearly like how the response time will be 
you know uh, calculated so where it starts and where it ends i'll tell you so response time since in yesterday session also i told you after replaying the script okay whoever attended yesterday session after replaying the script i showed you the result launch taking around 0.4 seconds login was taking around 0.2 seconds like that correct so that is response time okay and we also verify other uh, performance issues issues or bottlenecks okay or you can call bottlenecks let's use the term bottlenecks instead of uh, issues we we call bottlenecks verify other performance bottlenecks like uh, cpu uh, memory utilization etc see i will discuss all these things later okay but just at a high level i'm telling you what exactly we are going to verify as part of this test okay now if you want to run other types of tests here this test should be successful if this test itself is a failure then there is no point running in other types of tests because as i said this is the first major test that we execute and if that itself is failing okay there is no point in running other types of tests work with developer to get it fixed to get the issues resolved the performance issues resolved and then uh, run the low test again get it make it passed and then run the remaining tests okay so any questions as of now in this low test at a high level we all we are going to discuss this practically also later but i want you to understand that there are different types of performance test where the low test is the first major type of test that we execute okay any questions so far here very important basics okay okay if you have any questions please don't hesitate to stop me okay or please don't hesitate to ask okay so when we when we discuss queries when we discuss queries it will not only help everyone uh, but you will you will remember those answers for longer duration like you know even after completing yeah. so you will still remember that some day you ask some question and you got the answer and so and so similarly other participants will also uh, understand the question uh, you know uh, uh, compare their answers with your answers and you know uh, and discuss uh, the answers and come to a conclusion okay please sir, don't my... hesitate to stop me at any point of time so yes sir hello if you are assigned to do or if you are if you are assigned to work uh, on a performance testing project this type of test will be the first test that we generally execute okay how we execute and all that stuff we'll discuss later okay so here it's it checks the speed of the application by applying some load load is nothing but users uh, let's say for our example today client gave us 500 users okay i'm just writing here example okay just an example let's say client gave uh, 500 users client gave information that we need to test this application with 500 users okay now how do you know now you should, you, you you might have asked a question i was expecting one question from you just now i told you that in order to run the other types of tests this should be a successful test right now if this is a failure test we will not be able to run or it doesn't make sense to run other types of tests but the question i was expecting from you is how do you conclude whether a test is a pass or fail right did did anyone uh, did anyone uh, thought about it this question how do you conclude or how do you derive that you know okay this test is a pass or this test is a fail and so on so no one thought about it okay so uh, in so so there are multiple uh, points based on which we we conclude that a test is a failure okay so i'll give you one point now okay so okay uh, better to discuss all three all other points in one go so let's 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 focus that uh, next time okay in upcoming session so let's go to the next next test that is stress test the name itself is self explanatory okay 
that means you are applying uh, more stress on the application so checking the performance checking the performance of an application by applying more load than the by applying more volume you can say or load you, you can say more volume or users whatever it is okay more volume or more users than the load test okay one second eh? okay so checking the performance of an application by applying more volume than the load test what do you mean by this can anyone uh, uh, you know elaborate this line what exactly it means checking the performance of an, of an application by applying more volume than the load test anyone did uh, did anyone understand uh, understood this uh, this line to apply more more load than stress testing sorry than load testing okay so stress test is nothing but we are actually kind of stressing the application with more load when you say more load more load than the load test so for example in the in the above uh, in the above uh, load test we executed let's say we executed with 500 users okay now uh, we can execute with 600 700 800 and so on or you can execute or you can increase the load to an extent where the application will will stop responding okay you can you can continue to add a load okay you can continue to add users until the application stops responding or application crashes okay so anything above 500 as per our as per today's example anything above 500 can be a stress test because client said the load test itself is 500 users and you and now you are executing a stress test by adding more number of users okay then let's say i mean it could be 600 700 800 like that in some cases the client will say that hey can you test the application can you keep on adding the load until it breaks and let me know let me know where exactly it, it is broken and how many users it max supported maximum okay it, it makes sense right that is also possible okay so for example i'll give you a generic example like let's say there is a restaurant or is a hotel or a restaurant and there are five tables okay there are five tables and one helper okay one five tables and one helper now the job of that helper is to take orders from those five tables and get it get the food delivered on the tables okay so now everything is going smooth no issues now now demand increased customers keep on increasing the owner of the restaurant decided to increase the number of tables from five to seven five to seven now this helper who was uh, handling five tables like taking orders and delivering food now should handle seven tables again there is an increase in demand the owner of the restaurant increase uh, you know increase the number of tables from seven to nine now the helper who was managing seven tables now should handle nine but the problem here is uh, the helper is not able to manage all nine okay causing delay in food delivery like for example earlier uh, when 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 uh, five tables were there or seven tables were there uh, the helper was uh, able to deliver the food on the table uh, like within 30 minutes now with nine tables in place the helper is not able to manage 
and the amount of time taken to deliver the food increased from 30 minutes to let's say 40 minutes it is possible right there is only one you there is only one helper now okay there is only one helper and the helper is uh, uh, struggling to manage all the five tables because it's more stress on on him on his uh, okay on the helper there's more stress okay now again there is the huge demand the owner finally decided to increase the number of tables from 9 to 11 then the helper decided saying that decided to quit the work saying that i saying that you cannot manage all tables so the max the helper could manage was only nine and that too with some performance degradation right so earlier uh, food was delivered in 30 minutes now it was taking like 40 45 minutes there is some performance degradation right so the max number of tables that user could handle was only nine and that too with performance degradation okay so you you have to you have to tell okay that's 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 the peak point that's the breaking point you can say now when 11 tables were added you know the the helper uh, quit the job and left saying that you know no no it's max like we cannot go beyond nine done so that's the breaking point here also when we do a performance testing sometimes client might ask you to test the breaking point so when you have to test the breaking point you have to keep on adding the users and increase the stress and see where the application is breaking how many users the the application is able to withstand okay so you need to provide this information to client any questions with respect to stress test how long we are going to run again you can run for one hour okay what do you verify same thing we verify all these things response times and all that stuff okay uh, response times uh, <clears throat> find out uh, the breaking point okay everyone understood this stress test any questions so this test will be executed only if this test is successful if this if 500 users test itself is a failure then what is the purpose of running with 600 700 and 800 make sense any questions okay very important uh, you can stop me anytime and ask the questions okay everyone understood shall i move to the third type of test Okay. Yes. The third type of test is endurance or soak or duration test. Uh, the name itself is is again it's saying that it's uh, we are trying to test the endurance or the duration. So names are same. Uh, I mean meaning is same. Names are different. Uh, some in some projects they call endurance test. In some projects they call soak test. In some projects they call duration test. But the actual uh, uh, meaning is same okay the terms that we are using is different but the meaning is same now why do we run this test we run this test to check the stability of the application we run this test to check the stability of the application okay by running the test how do you check the stability by running the test for longer duration like three hours five hours eight hours etc okay so endurance test is all about checking the stability of the application by running the test for longer duration like three hours five hours eight hours one day etc okay so when you run the test for a longer duration when you run the test for longer duration how the application is responding is important like in the first let's say you're running a test for five hours or three hours or five hours in the first one hour the response times 
let's say yesterday we have seen the response times right so let me uh, <clears throat> so yesterday we have seen the response times as well correct so how response times are coming up how the response times are coming up okay uh, in the first one hour in the second one hour in the third one hour like that in the entire duration test or endurance test we keep monitoring the performance like how the how, how it behaved in the first one hour how it behaved in the second one hour how it responded in the second one hour so the application response times should be stable throughout the test okay so let's say i open the demo script again now let me uh, run this script once so okay so yesterday i i i explained you this right so whoever did not attend yesterday's session please go through the demo session completely so you'll understand what i'm doing now so i'm just replaying the script whatever we recorded yesterday okay so here if you see after uh, you'll get some response times see here so launch how much time it is taking launch login how much time it is taking like that so in the first one hour what are the response times we are getting okay the same or similar response time should be there throughout the test now in the first one hour you are getting good response times like less than a second like less than a second in the in the second one hour the response times degraded like you are getting 2 seconds like that in the third one hour you are getting like 3 seconds or 4 seconds that means the response times are degrading okay that means there is no stability okay the response time should be same throughout the test that's the reason that's the main reason we 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 execute uh, a so endurance test okay we run it for longer duration like this like 3 hours 5 hours 8 hours etc number of users uh, how to how calculate the number of users see basically um, some projects some projects use uh, same load as same users as load test okay some projects use only uh, 75% of users of load test see uh, some projects they go with same load as same load test same same as load test that means here also 500 users here also 500 users we will use some projects they will take only 75% of the load test volume okay so what is 75% of 500 350 so they will go with 350 users here they will test with 350 users here but i personally prefer this one so i don't i want to maintain the same load in load test and the endurance test i don't want to decrease the users or volume okay so here also we verify all these things and we also we also verify something like memory leaks and all that stuff we'll discuss later about those but did you understand what do you mean by endurance or so called duration test in order to check the stability of the application by running the test for longer duration like 3 hours 5 hours 8 hours okay we will monitor like in the first one hour whatever the response times you are getting the response time should be similar in the second hour third hour as well in the first one hour you are getting 2 seconds response time in the third one hour you are getting 5 seconds response time that means there is some issue there is some issue you should not uh, see some instability there okay you are you have to check the stability for that the response time should be similar throughout the test any questions did you understand the difference very very important one endurance test in every project we run it if you have any questions please stop me okay i am i am happy to explain or repeat again and again so objective of the test what is this endurance okay now the next thing is uh next thing is uh scalability test 
a name itself is self uh, you know self explanatory you see and it is related to the term step uh, scalability here okay so in scalability test we uh, what we do is we increase the load of the increase the load based on client input of their future growth okay so client will give you some input like hey my business will increase and i might see uh, users increasing in the next 6 months by 100% so that means client has given you some input based on future growth expected future growth so based on that you have to go ahead and test the number of users so uh, now let's say low test was executed with 500 users correct now client is saying that client is saying that uh, there there will be a business growth and users might increase by 100% in next 6 months okay client will say something like this now in this case what you have to do is you have to run this test with 500 users because client initially said okay you are going to run with 500 users load test now client again mentioned that there will be business growth and users might increase by 100 percent in next six months so what is the expected number of users in next six months anyone what is the expected number of users in the next six months it growth well, how much percentage growth 100 so next six months this final will become thousand so now itself keeping the future growth in mind now itself you need to test with thousand users so here you can you have to i'll, I'll mention like this so you executed a hundred percent load test with 500 users you already executed now because client said there will be a hundred percent increase in next six months what is 100% increase? It will be a 200% load test. Double, right? That means 1000 users or similar volume. I'll tell you what is similar volume later. Okay, did you understand this point? If client says that my business will increase by 50% in the next six months, then you have to test with 500 plus 50% of 500, that is 250. So 500 plus 250, 750 users is what you have to test. Everyone understood? Now this type of test basically uh, mostly comes with ad hoc requests. Mostly comes with ad hoc requests. What do you mean by ad hoc requests? I'll tell you one real example. Okay, so you all know pandemic, right? Uh, recently, I mean, in 2020, we all we all uh, uh, you know uh, saw the pandemic. So no. At that point of time, I think in the month of June or July 2020, I was supporting for one of the banking firms. Okay, I was supporting for one of the. At that point of time, I was I was giving some support for one of the banking project. Now the banking client called us and said, "Hey, due to the ongoing issue, COVID issue, uh, people, the number of people." accessing our online application increased okay and we are ex we are expecting that the number of users accessing our online application will be increased okay increased up to 400 percent okay so whatever the current load test you executed okay based on that uh, the load might be increased up to 400 percent because of the pandemic because people were not interested to go to bank directly right and everyone wanted to uh, perform transactions or execute uh, you know uh, or, or access their application online rather than going to bank now that's the reason number of users accessing the application increased drastically okay so our client said that hey we are expecting the users to increase up to 400 percent okay in the next few months now what will you test how will you test this scenario 
can anyone tell because client mentioned that uh, the number of users will be might be or will be increased up to 400 percent how can you test this can anyone tell what will you know when the client said the number of users might go up to 400 percent what will you do anyone considering that future growth in mind as suggested by client we are okay we are okay we are going to increase the number of users now itself how much can anyone tell how to execute now what what should be my approach can anyone tell what should be my approach in executing anyone okay so here uh, we executed 100 percent load test with 500 users correct now client client is saying that now client saying that due to ongoing uh, issue the demand increased and the number of users will go up to 400 percent so what you have to do will you test with 400 percent load what is 400 percent load 100% load is 500 users. That's what we tested. We took an example. Then 400% is nothing but multi four times more than that. That means like 2000 users. Correct? So should I run a load test with, should I run a scalability test with 2000 users? Should I run with 2000 users directly? Because client asked me to run, right? Client asked me to check. So now can I run, can we run uh, to, uh, uh, a load test with 400% load? Directly? See, you can run, but it is not suggested. The reason why it is not suggested is, let's say if that 400% load test is failure, uh, the scalability test is a failure test. Then in that case, Okay, what is what will happen? In that case, you will not be able to tell client whether whether the application will support thousand users or fifteen hundred users or users like that. Also, you will not be able to tell. The client told you that uh, the the customers might increase up to four hundred percent. Now itself, you are you need not test all four hundred percent load. You can gradually increase the load. Like start with hundred percent go to 200 percent then go to 300 percent and go to 400 percent that's the final one any questions did everyone understand scalability test so you should ru first run a 500 percent load test then you can run 200 percent load test then you can run 300 percent load test and then you can run 400 percent load test in this way i can tell client at least like which application is supporting at what level like for example uh, one application is supporting up to 400 users 400 percent load one application other application might not be supporting so you have to report it and we have to fix it okay any questions in scalability test okay so any questions So this volume test and what? failover test and spike test, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss tomorrow, okay? So if, if I explain all these tests in one go, you might be confused. So let's, let's learn only first four. Let's try to understand only first four, okay? So any, any questions for you, from your side? So tomorrow I will explain what is a server, what is application server, what is database server, what is a web server and then what is failure failover test and then we'll also discuss some points on volume test and spike test so this running notes i'll just save it and i'll share it across okay any questions i'm just uh, uh stopping here for today because i just want you to give some time whoever did not attend demo session yesterday they can go through the session yesterday session and ping me enough if you have any queries 
okay and also whoever did not uh, uh, share the whoever did not share the uh, 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 contact number or email id uh, please send it so that uh, they will uh, i think uh, uh, they will send in whatsapp i guess so you can you whoever is uh, uh, you know interested in getting the documents initial documents uh all the performance testing related uh, uh notes and documents and all please share your mobile number so that our team will reach out to you and share it okay any questions and uh, can i have kind so of uh, whoever is, who is uh, how many of you are attending for the first time today uh, i attended first time this is subarav okay so please go through the yesterday's session one okay yeah so we'll get i have a couple of questions about and dynamic if you have any questions and, uh, with respect to course content and all that stuff let me know yes yes i do have and uh, can i have it now or uh, will be having uh, um, a personal chat with you Anyone? what do you suggest okay so i'll share these notes uh, and uh, we'll meet again tomorrow for any further queries please ping me on whatsapp group okay i'll give you a 15 minutes back uh, please uh, go through the yesterday's demo session and uh, whatever the queries you have uh, do reach out to me if you have any queries uh, like other than technical queries you can always reach out to uh, the admin team or kumar sir also okay any any questions again uh, okay i'll ping my i'll um i will ping uh, oh i'm not able to hear you uh, is anyone oh okay oh okay okay i think there is some problem with audio i'm not able to hear can you hear me yeah uh, can yeah, we you can me, hear sir? you but uh, yeah, acoustic wise we are not i mean we are not uh, are not able to hear us again to check if the audio is complete yes can you ask question now mm -hmm. once anyone yeah actually yeah. i'm not able, i'm still not we able can to do hear. that can anyone try speaking now yes sir we are please speaking in the chat box there is problem please type in chat box oh okay uh, i don't know like why i'm not able to... uh, can you try now can you hear me yes sir you are speaking ah okay okay now now you guys are audible okay i'll i'm sorry for that i'll make sure that it it will not uh, uh it will not be an issue from tomorrow uh, i'm not sure like why i, I my voice was uh, audible to you guys but your voice was not i couldn't hear your voice but anyways uh, you can ask your questions one by one i'm sorry for that okay it's really about uh, the course content and uh, yesterday i didn't attend your session and uh, today is my first day so i am just curious about to know the duration and what are the depth of the course we will get it like you know the dynatrace and others so okay so so this course is uh, around like 40 sessions uh, approximately around 40 sessions plus you will get some okay. recording sessions also recorded sessions also uh, so daily same time 8 am to 9 am ist and uh, we will be covering from basics to advanced uh, like the basics of performance testing or basics of the tool till advanced level and uh, we'll also cover a uh, uh, couple of sessions on uh, dynatrace and uh, app dynamics uh, if 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 uh, if not possible at least dynatrace will have a live session and uh, app dynamics i'll provide a, a recorded session apart from that we'll okay. also discuss uh, some other concepts like heap dumps, uh, I mean, some other concepts like heap dumps, thread dumps, and uh, load balancer algorithms, uh, garbage collection algorithms, and all those stuff. And the other thing is like about working environment, and uh, are we getting providing any working environment to practice and to get some hands on, or how you guys are um, going to yeah. so take care we... of that part? 
so yeah so as part of as part of our course we'll be practicing on multiple applications okay including uh, including our own uh, 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 you know application isha training solutions.com so where uh, we cover uh, very important real time scenarios okay uh, with respect to scripting and we'll also cover we'll also run a live load test okay so i'll tell you i mean we'll i'll be explaining you how to how we get the input how we create the scenario how we run the load test how we analyze the results and all that stuff and because the tool will be available for you guys as well so you can also practice from your end okay so, uh, uh, so and also uh, like i i'll be i'll, I'll be providing uh, most of the inputs on analysis as well uh, like how to analyze the results and how to uh, communicate uh, to client okay with all the observations and concerns so we'll draft a, a real time example a real time uh, observations email uh, so that it will be familiar when you get when you start working on any project you will not face any issue i believe like there will be some kind of dedicated uh, environment uh, in the sense uh, uh, to kind of you know azure stack or something like aws stack we have to come up with uh, uh, it's not that just a tool and the end application right there will be kind of mediate mediate, uh, mediate some systems which are connected like yeah. load balance or something like that so how we are going to get that environment i am yeah. more curious about it now. Uh, no, I mean load balancer. Load balancer is actually uh, a kind of software uh, which will distribute the load. I mean, we have, we we were about to cover that tomorrow. Uh, but the thing is, uh, we will not be able to um, simulate that load balancer because in your real time project also you will not have control on load balancer. In, in real time project also, uh, the application team uh, will configure the load balancer algorithm in their project in the dev project from our point of view we will we will we will only be able to see whether the load is equally distributed or not what algorithm which algorithm they have they have used we we will be able to know we will know from we know that information from them and then we will use some dynat your tools like dynatrace or AppDynamics and see whether the load is equally distributed or not and all that stuff okay so that that part of uh, live uh tracking or uh, live uh, capturing the live information from dynatrace we will be doing that so what we do is we will uh, uh i i mean probably in my machine i will install the tomcat server and uh, on top of it i will deploy some sample application uh, for which we will develop one scripts and we will use a load runner to apply load on that we will run a load test and when you apply when you run a load test how the application is responding what are the different metrics that we capture we will directly see in dynatrace live live data we will see in dynatrace uh, okay yeah that sounds good yeah 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 any any other questions Uh, I think, uh, okay, you will get it, uh, CB, I am not sure about your full name, but you will get it, I uh, will ping in the group right after the session, okay, you can save my number, no problem, uh, any uh, any other questions, uh, Arbaz, Priyanka? I am good. Sir, actually, my Hello. question is, yes, yes, I'm audible. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yes, so as you told that uh, endurance testing, uh, like uh, you, you told us that real time scenario to increase the road, uh, load by 100%, then 200, then up to the, the don't increase by directly 400. So what is the reason behind it? I want to ask in detail. Oh, okay. So, uh, Let's say you are you, let's say you ran, you already ran a hundred percent load test with 500 users. Now your client said that uh, uh, the demand or the users might increase up to 400 percent. So what is 400 percent? Let's say 2,000 users. So if you run a load test with 2,000 users, and if it fails, 
see if it if it if it is successful test no problem for some reason the application is not able to withstand 2000 users load then we then client might ask you okay if if if, if it is not supporting 2000 users is it supporting 1500 or 1000 at least then you will not be able to answer because you did not test 1000 per 1000 and 1500 users you directly tested 2000 so if that's the reason what we do is we gradually increase so first when you run with 500 users then you double with let's say 200 percent that means you run with 1000 users if that is also successful run 300 users if that is also successful then run 400 users some applications might not be able to withstand 300 percent load okay then then you need to uh, provide your inputs to client that so and so application was not able to handle this much amount of load then client might increase the capacity of in terms of memory cpu and all okay and uh, and and then you might have to run the load test again or the other 300 percent or the 400 percent load test again yes sir thank you okay any other questions okay so let's uh, continue uh, tomorrow with uh, different other other remaining types of tests and also failover which is very important so tomorrow i'll tell you where load balancer will come into picture what is a server what is app server what is web server what is database server why failover testing is important how do you test it uh, why do we need developers or admin team support to run this test all these things we'll discuss tomorrow okay so uh, you can you can reach out to me uh, in case of any further queries i'll ping in the whatsapp group as well okay